Okay, we got here getting some lime on the Tahoe. So we're gonna man down there. Save the tires a little bit. A little bit low on one side, but still a good bit of trade on it. Gotta rotate it. Big boys on the front. We up here at uh, West Columbia Correction Alignment Auto Repair. So if y'all need to holler at them, make sure y'all call them at 803-939-0556. Give them a call. Tell them Brian sent you up there, BJ sent you up there, one shot, whatever y'all want to call them. So, so hey, make sure y'all tap in with them boys, man. The dog Kenny, they always get it right. Shout out to them boys. Got Rudy in the back working in the van. Got old school down here on the line on the top. Pulled up, wasn't even out there five minutes. I got it pulled in, he just drove it, pulled it in. Voila. So, we're up here getting this alignment right now. So, this is a little quick video. A little day in life. We're gonna head to the shop after this and uh, get a few things done. So, I'm gonna take y'all with me today so y'all can see what I do on a daily basis. I haven't seen this truck in like maybe a week. Well, no, for a week for sure. Play like two weeks. It was just sitting at my boy house, boy dirt house. I was in the Civic. I was driving his truck for a little minute, but um, I went and picked it up last night. Um, to get a few things done on it. Get it back highway ready. It was always highway ready, but that llama. I needed that. So. Took a few hours off to come up here and get this alarm and shit. We're gonna head back to the shop. But look at this shit. I got a uh, nail in my tire. It's dirty, bro. Truck up the street, got done with the llama, took up the street for uh, a test drive. Y'all already know what's going on, so y'all with the 803 Custom Gang out here on the Gustav Highway, and we doing it my way. Y'all know what the hell's going on, man. Slight day today, y'all, slight day. Maybe hit the shop, Bondo sand some doors. Yeah, boy, Kenny got that thing. Not Kenny, Rudy got that damn thing talking. That thing talking, now. Huh? What's up? There you go. Uh, you get that buddy way. You run me the hell over. That thing right there, huh? All right, y'all, so we got the truck. Take it for a test drive. And, uh... Feel a little bit better, but I'm probably gonna end up going to A to Z. And um, it's a shop called A to Z. Uh, it's actually on Augusta Highway, so go back and forth. And about it, so what I do is take it to the shop and see what they had to offer. It did what it is. It is what it is. But before, when they did. I did my gearbox, I'm not my gearbox. Damn, he got me saying gearbox, hold on. Check something I'm doing. Yeah, so when I did my alignment the first time, shit, that bitch is, that bitch is perfect, I ain't gonna lie. Let's ride to the shop. We're gonna go to stop by Lowe's, then hit, hit man, I can't talk to this. Stop by Lowe's and then head to the shop. I gotta grab some wood. Some wood. There you go. All right, y'all, we in Home Depot. Grab two sheets of wood. 
I gotta do a center console. Uh, things are wrapping the box, shipping box. That's probably why all I'll be working on today. Mm, center console, box, shipping box, and something else. Something else. Forgot what it is. Can't remember. But yeah, we're gonna get some uh, three quarter MDF loaded up. Wish they had half inch MDF, but they don't. So I'm gonna use three quarter, that's fine. That's cool. That's dandy, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. Alright y'all, so we at the shop. Had to put the camera off, I forgot. I got going, working. Um, so we can get ready to uh, do a console, get started on the console for the box Chevy. Um, we gonna keep it, you know what I'm saying, factory as possible. Um, we gonna put a single den in, two cup holders, and a nice little design on the side with two eights on the side. So um, we already got the, uh, the layout. And, uh, we're gonna get ready to start cutting some stuff up. And actually, I'm gonna make two consoles for about Chevy because uh, I got another customer who was questioning me about a, a console for about Chevy. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just whip up two of them uh, so I can have one on, on standby. So, whoever got a box Chevy, uh, you know what I'm saying? Just have one on standby because everybody wants these things. So, I'm gonna go ahead and whip a few up. So, I'm gonna have uh, two consoles. Well, I'm gonna have a spirit console for a box Chevy, and I'm gonna have a spirit console for any G body, Cutlass, Regal, anything like that. So. Alright y'all, so I just freestyled that as y'all can see. Something slight. I got the console halfway put together. Just a little bondo here, we're gonna sand it down. Put a little bevel edge up in it, probably put an LED up under here. Shine down, plex y'all on the side. LEDs all through, LED cup holders. Um, we still decide if we're gonna put the radio in the console or we're gonna uh, just do a nice design right here. So I gotta call the customer, talk to the customer, chop it up and hey. We get it going. So let me get this cut out and I'm gonna put it together and show you what's right, going on. Let y'all see what we came up with on the uh, box shipping console. Uh, we still not done with it, but it's pretty much uh, done for wood wise. Uh, we got a little bit of sanding to do on it. 
And we're gonna add plexi in it between the grills and light it up with the LED cup holders. That's what we do. And maybe a piece of plexi right here. Maybe it's an 803 Customs. Uh, I, mean, I may put the Caprice. I got dust all on my face. But, um, yeah, you know what? It took us about an hour to do it. I came up with one design. I didn't like the first design. So I drew something else up. And I love this one. So I might give y'all a sneak peek of what's going on here. Y'all can get to see this one. Then I'm going to give y'all a video when it's wrapped and completed. I might wrap it or I might, um, what I'm thinking about doing is taking it to my boy Alex Knight and let him put his touches on it. So. It could be all the way 100. So I'm good with rapping, but I'm not 100% comfortable with it. So, but I am good, you know what I'm saying, for a pass. But why not with my boy? I got my boy on two nights. He can. Uh, uh, uh. Y'all already know what time it is. Let me let y'all see this thing. Hit it on. What? Right here. I think it's an 87. You're going to put the top back on it. You see the pinhole. You're going to put the top, the rag top back on it. It's clean. OG all the way around. OG motor. Everything. Get the dust out of his car, man. I blow it out, vacuum it out, but everything's clean. Look at that. Look at that roof. It's clean, bro. Cleanest box shape I've seen in a long time. I mean, body lines, everything. Ooh, 305. Yep, it's clean, bro. I get to see that 803, putting that special touch on it. Oh yeah, hold on. I got to show you what we did with this. Uh, oh, it's in my pocket. We did a console and of course, we had to put the slap in the trunk. Damn. Of course, we down them at the whole trunk, the floor, both sides, the lid. I'm, I'm gonna put down them at in here too. All that to protect the car. Box 232 hertz. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna take it back out, and sand it, and I'm gonna wrap it in black and uh, slap this back in. And um, we gonna get her wired up, fired up. But yeah, y'all see it here first at 803 Customs. 908 Selma Church Road. And I gotta stay tuned for the more footage. So if you like these videos, make sure you like. Tell me why I need to do more. Tell me why I need to do less. But also just get in the conversation down below and spam me. Bad good. Look at my mustache, man. But just spam me, bro. You see the box shed back there? On them Vols, you know what I'm saying? On them Vols, two 15s in the trunk, console, six and a half, tweeters, everything. Everything is here. So just tap in with the game, and y'all already know what time it is. 803 Custom, we are out.